doing a mod on my mini loader. Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for joining me back. Today I'm doing a mod on my mini loader. Uh, hopefully installing this fan I could uh, push some of the hot air out of the mini track loader because what's happening is I have overheated it twice two different times two different jobs this year again i'm in florida it's very hot um the temperature was around 212 uh you know getting up there so i had to stop twice and i'm hoping by installing this 16 inch auxiliary fan uh, yeah that's gonna help out uh but my plans are to install the 16 inch fan right behind there. Hopefully it can draw some fresh air and push the existing heat out, at, out, out of these two holes. There's one on each side and hopefully uh, dissipate it, you know, get it out of there and keep my temperature at a, a good temperature because right now it's, it's running hot. But it's hot as shit in Florida too, so. So yeah, let's get to it. Hopefully it's going to be a simple install. Four screws, run some wiring, and a uh, switch. Uh, this is The fan's not going to be constantly on. It's only going to be on, uh, you know, when the temperature starts getting up there. Um, I want to be able to have control of it with an off and on switch. Okay, so uh, let's get to the video and uh, we'll get to it. Here's my 16-inch fan, as you can see, and this is going to be a push-pull fan. Uh... If I wanted to pull or push the air, what I'm going to do is actually have it uh, pulling uh, the air in and cooling the engine. Uh, basically, no directions, uh, some hardware, different types of mounting it, some springs. I don't know if that's for the vibration. I think it's probably for the vibration of the fan. Um, but it's just a basic fan. Uh, here's the plug. You know pretty much positive negative I think to reverse the airflow you just reverse the uh, the wires so uh, yeah which way you want it to spin but I didn't go too crazy on this thing because I don't know if this is gonna solve my issue um, I'm hoping it helps it I doubt that it's gonna solve my issue completely um, because it's just the way the machine is designed it's 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 a very compact machine and just not enough airflow moving through there. But uh, yeah, let's get to the install and see where I'm going to mount it and uh, go from there and continue the video. Alright, so this is where I'm at. I held the fan up underneath here and I marked my four holes where I'm going to be drilling. And uh, this is what it looks like. I haven't tightened it down yet, but uh, I held the fan up. <coughs> like that and um, marked where I wanted my mounting holes to be and uh, got it all drilled I'm gonna tighten it down now and uh, I'm gonna be running some wire to the battery and uh, up to the switch and uh, let me tighten this down and I'll continue the video okay so I have my wire that I'm running here I did figure out which one's gonna be my hot which way I want it to spin uh, the most efficient way that I found out is that it sucks in uh, cold air from the outside and it's going to blow against the engine because when it was trying to pull, it could not push efficiently enough and it just wasn't uh, taking enough uh, air out. But on the other hand, with it sucking in, I'm hoping there's enough opening here to really move some air I mean it I put my hand down there it was blowing pretty good so uh, I'll see how it goes I'm gonna run continue running my wires uh, it's getting late but it's been so hot I couldn't do it during the day today I'm um, gonna put the switch next to this one here maybe on this side maybe on the same side not sure yet this is for my lights that's for my little hazard lights there. So this switch uh, is going to be mounted up here again. And uh, I'll show you the finished product. And I'll do a review after the fan is installed and see how much cooler it runs. All right. 
So let me get to it and see what else I can get done before it gets dark. All right, so I was able to finish. Here's my switch. There it is. It's kicked on. But yeah, I'm going to make a follow-up video to let you guys know how it went with this mod, if it helped or if it's just a waste of money. But uh, stay tuned and see you on the next video. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe.